Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a lovely um, little mouse trap. It can be a Christmas ornament or I put a um, magnet in the back so you can put it on the fridge for a note. So it's just left. Voila! So I'm going to show you how to make this. I learned that from Tina Weller. She's my passport uh, pal. So let's get started. First thing you're going to buy the little um, mouse strap, and then I just use plier and I take this gizmo out here. Just pop this up. So this is trash. And then I take this part out too. Oops. I don't know where that piece went. Take this out. I don't have no grip. If I would have the nose plier, it would be better. I don't know what I did with them. Or I bet it's my husband that took them or my son. I get tools, but they keep on disappearing. Voila! So it's still, um, so be careful not to snap your finger. I don't know if Dina did it th this way. I saw it, I fell in love with it, and I went and got my mouse strap. So after you get this done, and then you're going to decide what um, paper you want to use. You're going to ask me how wide it is. To be honest with you, it's about one and three quarter. But I got I cut this one at one and three quarter. It was too short. I went a little bit over. It was too short, so I cut this one by two. I cut about the lengthwise three inch. So it's easier. We're going to be able to trim this or we can just leave it that way, whatever you prefer. Like this one, I would trim. Let me get my scissors. So it would be easy to trim. You just, I would just cut the bottom so it don't show really, because nothing gonna show. So whatever you prefer, a exacto knife would cut perfect too. So after you get your paper, then we're gonna take the tumble glue I don't, I start doing this one and I said, oh, I need to stop to show you guys. Here we go. So take your tumble glue and cover your paper. And you get two tip at the tumble glue. You get the tiny tip and you get the fat tip. I like to use the fat tip. And then we're going to cover this. That should be good. Then um, I did a little bit difference on uh, the last one that I did. I was lifting this up, so why lifting that up? Just cover that, push it that kind of art there. And this one is very snug, so I want to make sure not to see nothing. Oops. Then here, just reinforce this and there. And here, I just come here, reinforce that. Voila. So we get that part done. Then we're going to use the other part. Uh, this DSP that I'm using, it's that Tea Party. Tea, it's not Tea Party, but it's the one with the tea in it. I don't have my catalog here. Um, I'm going to put it on the screen. Here we go. Make sure you get a good coverage of glue. Now this part, it's a little bit harder because you have to lift this little thing up here. Make sure not to smack your fingers because that would be ouchy. Make sure you don't have glue on your finger like I did. Here we go. Now I can release this. Be very careful because that can really do damage to your finger. It's just a little mouse strap, but still. Voila. So now we get this. Now what I done for this one, I want to do an everyday one. So I'm going to uh, do a flower, but I'm going to show you how to do a flower. Let me grab, there we go. So what I did, I'm using the flower. I cannot even remember name. I just finished a class and my head is just spinning. So all the words going to be on the... Uh, I cannot even think. The words going to be on the screen there. So let's do... Um, two of this 
and then we're going to do one in this. This is the pack um, paper, and that's it's the in color. So this is Coastal Cabana here. Then in the little one, we're going to do, uh, let's do two of this. And then let's take another color. Let's do three of this. I'm not sure how many I need, but I think that's about right. One, two, and three. Now what i done, I just lined it up, and I forgot the brads. Let me grab the brad here. Uh, let's do a silver. Oh, I got a black bread that's going to be perfect with that. So I'm using um, one of them I keep just for my bottom so we won't put it. So then we're going to put this one. I just reverse the colors. One, two, and then this is going to be three, four, Five. Five should be good. Okay, now let's take our paper um, piercer. I know I got it right here. Our poker. Try to center this the best that you can here. That look about right. Poke a hole in the center of this. And then poke this through. Oh, make sure your bread it's all together. Well, I can see this one gonna give me a tough time, so let me reach for another one. And this time I get more copper, it's all good. Here we go. So now let's close our bread. And then the next step that I did, I spray it with water. So you're going to first, let's, now I'm going to twist them. It's easier to twist after they're together, so then you know uh, it was all center. Here we go. So then I'm going to spray. It's just plain water. And then crunch. It's called a crunch flower, I think. Lift all your layers here. And then you if it's too stiff, you can put more water in the back and crunch. And then you're going to do that with all your layers. The last layer, you can leave it more flat. See, I just lift up, crunch. I can even add more water. Oops, I think I just went in my lens. Crunch. So this is going to have to let dry before we're going to be able to mount it. But that's why I done one. Okay. Here we go. And then the last layer. And after it's going to dry, it's going to come down a bit. This one, it's way too stiff in the back. So, see, I just add water. And that make it a dimensional and give a good old-fashioned, whatever, good flower. So then I would let, let that dry. And magic, I got one done here. So what you're going to do, it's a few ways to put that on. I brought some, um, when you take your uh, stamp apart, I saved the rubber. So what I'm going to do, take this, and this is going to go right in your, or oh, this one, it was a clear one, so it's no glue in the back. If it's uh, like the wood one, it's already glue in the back, so you don't have to put glue, but here we go. Now I would put glue here. And don't be shy on the glue. Then the one that I say keep out, I'm going to put that right here. 
and then I'm going to put more glue in the back of this and then I could put a dimensional too okay now you see the spring there I don't like that so what I done I um, use the stamp set uh, timeless stock and it's a hello there so we're going to put a banner I'm going to twist I mean twist curl it a little bit but you see this I don't like this the first one I kept that but then I'm like no I don't want that so what we're going to do we're going to put a little banner there so what I'm going to do is use glue dots Come back here. Here we go. Glue dot there, glue dot there, and I'm going to put one there. So then I'm going to know about where to put that. Let's put our banner. I'm going to slide it right under my flower there. Okay, so let's use two glue dot on our banner. I want it up there. Okay. Well, this is not dry here. Let's move this. That would be easier if you put your banner before your flower. Et voila. Now, while I get the glue there, I think if I use uh, dimensional. I'm going to put a dimensional here and that's the end of the dimensional here. I don't know if this one is too much aside, so voila! And then I can take this Voila! So now you got it. So now um, I could um, Put that on the fridge and you can uh, put your note there. In the back, you're going to say, how did I do uh, the back? I just use um, a sheet of um, magnetic sheet and this got a sticky in the back and to be honest with you, it's not strong enough, the sticky in the back. So what I done, and it's a little bit too wide, this it's not quite dry. You see it's a little bit too much so I'm gonna cut that, take my glue and I would cut it a little bit the same width whatever. You can tell I'm in the rush a little bit. I would put that there. Whoops, whoops. And then use the other one. Cut a little bit and again take that um, strip. It's sticky but it's not that sticky. I'm sure I can find different one with more sticky but I get this here. I don't know. I had that for quite a while but then I just push it in the back make sure. Voila! So now you get your mouse trap. This one I didn't put a little um, what it's called a ribbon like my first one because I can use it like a Christmas ornament so if you put a ribbon you put it in the back of your magnet okay so this is one then I prepare like I said the other one now we get those lovely I absolutely love 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 those uh, ornament kit you can make it as an ornament I think I get one here so it come with everything, your ribbon and everything, so it make the lovely ornament. But um, I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect over here. So what I done, I pre-cut. Again, I want to cover this. So I'm going to use my glue dot. Remember, it's easier if we do this first. i just going to do like a little ribbon. I want it offset a bit. Here we go. Now I'm going to put another glue dot in the back and I'm going to cover this right here. Can use another glue dot back there. Right here. Okay, so now that we get this, 
Now we can put our Christmas ornament right here and it's going to cover everything. So again, I would use um, the rubber here because it's very, um, in, you know, it's thicker than our um, dimensional. But remember, this one don't have glue. I should have paid attention. I like the wood one better because it's very sticky in the back. Going to put this here. And then, you know what I'm going to do? It's glue dots. And we could use the hot glue gun too. Our glue dots don't want to stick on that. So here we go. Let's put some tumble glue. And I would put this right here. It won't stay till it dry, but voila, how pretty this is. So again, I can put um, the ribbon in the back so it can be used as a Christmas ornament, or then we get the note older like this. So this is it, my friend. Hope you learned something new. And till next time, happy stamping. And by the way, thanks, Tina, for sharing with us. Have a great day, guys and ladies.